Pre-K Discovery with Miss Barb. How are you today? Let's get started with the calendar. Do you remember that this is the month of February? F-E-B-R-U-A-R-Y, February. And like Miss Barb said last week, such a long word for a short month because February only has 28 days. Has less than all the rest of them. So last week we celebrated Groundhog Day and this week we don't have a celebration, but we're gonna talk about a special holiday that we have coming up. So what day of the week is today? Well, if you're watching Pre-K Discovery, you know that we can sing the song, days of the week, days of the week, Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Well, there's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, and days of the week, and days of the week. And if you are paying attention, you would know that Miss Barb pointed to Tuesday, because today is Tuesday. Uh, it's still 2021 because it's a brand new year and this is only the second month of the year so we still have 10 more months to go and it's still winter and we have six more weeks before winter is over and it's the first day of spring and we got a whole bunch of other things coming up but what I want to talk about today is Valentine's Day and that's why our letter of the day is the letter V the letter V and the letter V makes the V sound like in Valentine and this is how you make a letter V you make a line down oops well we would be making the letter V today if my pen was working so let me get another piece of paper because <clears throat> Miss Barb's always ready all right, so I have a white piece of paper here, and a letter V is a line down, and then another line down until it makes a point, and that is the letter V. And the letter V looks like this, and a lowercase letter V looks just like it, only smaller, like half the size. So that's our letter of the day, the letter V. So we're going to read a story today about Valentine's Day, and it's not really a story as much as it's kind of the history and it tells us about why we celebrate Valentine's Day, which is coming up in one, two, three, four, five more days. <clears throat> so here's our book today, Valentine's Day. It says the mail carrier brings pretty cards in red and pink envelopes, and the women from the flower shop is busy delivering roses. Cupid is aiming his bow. It says you might decorate a box at school to hold cards from friends and maybe your mom or dad has an extra hug or kiss for you because it's Valentine's Day. It says do you know why we have Valentine's Day? Why do we have Valentine's Day? People have celebrated love for centuries. Ancient people set aside February 14th as a special day of love. It says, a long time ago, the Romans believed in a goddess named Juno, and they thought that she would help them to find someone to marry them. It says, at this time, the young boys and girls play many games, and in one game, each girl wrote her name on a piece of paper and put it in an urn. Each boy would pick a piece of paper with the girl's name on it, and he would be paired with that girl for the next town festival. It says the name Valentine's Day comes from a priest named Valentine who lived long ago. The priest got in trouble for secretly marrying young couples. Old stories tell us that he started the tradition of sending Valentine's Day cards. He signed a note from your Valentine. And it says today millions of Valentine's Day cards are sent in the mail. It says on Valentine's Day, hearts of all sizes are easy to find. These hearts are usually pink or red. They are on cards and they even can be seen on windows. It says, since ancient times, red hearts have always stood for love. It says, flowers are gifts of love on Valentine's Day and flower shops are busy on this day. Pretty red roses are symbols of love. Another symbol of love is Cupid. 
Cupid is a cute, chubby boy who shoots arrows, but they don't hurt. They make people fall in love. It says Cupid was the son of Venus, and Venus was the Roman goddess of love. Cupid had wings and could fly, and wherever he, whenever he wanted someone to fall in love, he would shoot that person with his bow and arrow. It says birds are a part of Valentine's Day, too. Old stories say that some birds choose their mates on Valentine's Day. Pictures of doves often appear on Valentine's Day cards. So there's the lovebirds. It says Valentine's Day is a special time to show love. Make a card to give to a friend. Give your mom or dad an extra hug and be extra nice to everyone. Although I don't think we need Valentine's Day to be extra nice to everybody. I think that's a good thing to practice every day. So that is our story about why we celebrate Valentine's Day. So before we go, and Miss Barb gets ready because we're going to make a Valentine's Day card today. And Miss Barb's going to show you what you can do to make a Valentine's Day card for that someone special in your life too. I want to do our quick words today. And I have three new quick words today. So our first quick word today, and this is a new one, is the word is. I-S. Is. I-S. Is. Can you say is? Is. Our next quick word is you. Y-O-U-U. -U. And that means you. So all of you say you. And I thought I had three quick words, but apparently we only have two new ones. Oh, no, we have another one. Hold on. Nope, that's it. Two quick words for today. You and is. These are our newest quick words of the day. You and is. And our old ones are, if you remember, I. That is not right. Miss Barb's all messed up today. We're just going to go with those two, but you remember the word I. I. So those are our quick words. Is and you. You're going to see those a lot when you start reading more and more books. So remember them. Give me a second. I'm going to be at the table and we are going to make a Valentine's Day card today. Are you ready to make a Valentine's Day card with Miss Barr? Well, let me tell you, it doesn't take anything special that you have at your house because I'm sure you can find some paper or some card or um, any kind of buttons or ribbons or anything around the house that you can use to make a Valentine's Day card. Miss Barb is just going to use some things that she has in her basket today. So first thing I'm going to do is I need a piece of paper to be my card. And you know, you could use it like this, but I like to fold it in half like a book and make it like a card so that you can write inside of it and open up. So there's my card. I could do it like this or I can do it like this. I'm going to do mine like this, like a tall book. So I'm going to lay it down on here. So one of the things that they talked about in our book that we read was how red hearts represent love. So Miss Barb has a piece of red paper. She's going to fold it in half. And she's going to use her big scissors. And she's going to cut out a red heart to put on her card. So do you remember how Miss Barb showed you how to make a heart at family story time, where you start a little bit below the edge and you curve around and you make it a little fatter out here and then you come down to a sharp point and when you unfold it, you have a heart. And I think my heart might be too big for my piece of paper. Miss Barb's gonna make it just a little bit smaller. Cause goodness, I want it to fit on there, don't I? So look what I did when I did that. I actually made a heart with a hole in the middle of it. So now my red heart will fit on my card. So I'm going to use my glue. Ta-da! And I am going to glue my red heart on there. Now you can use your imagination and you can put anything you want on there. It doesn't even have to be the same colors as Miss Barb. In fact, I challenge you to make your own original Valentine's Day card. I'm just showing you what I can do with the things that I have. So I'm going to put that right in the middle and it's going to look like this. This is the outside of my card and it opens up and look, there's a heart and nothing on the inside yet because we haven't put anything in there, have we? So what would I put on the inside of my card? Hmm. 
What do I have in my box? Well, I have some ribbon. Maybe I could put this in there. Eh, maybe. Or maybe I could cut out another red heart. Or I could take this one that I made and I could glue it in the middle so it's on both sides of the paper. Oh, and I'm not wasting it. I'm going to use it over again and kind of recycle it. So I'm going to take that one and I'm going to put some glue on it because we need glue. Lots of it, huh? Ah, oh, it's really a lot. I'm going to stick it in the middle here. Now, everybody likes to get a card on Valentine's Day, don't they? Because it makes them feel like they're special and that somebody cares about them. So, now look at what I did. So, this is the outside of my card, and when I open it up, it looks like that with a big, whoops, which needs more glue, apparently, which has a big red heart in the middle of it. And you might write something like, I love you, or Happy Valentine's Day, or you can write your name, because I'm going to write Love Miss Barb. Like that. Love Miss Barb. And that's my glove, my card. And I can draw. And if you don't have paper to cut out, I bet you have crayons and markers that you could use because Miss Barb's got a huge box of markers right here that she likes to use sometimes. And I also have some googly eyes that I found and I can add googly eyes to my heart. Maybe I can give it a face. That's a good idea. Why don't we do that? Let me find two big googly eyes and we're going to make it look silly. And then, there we go, two big ones. Look how big these ones are, they're pretty big. I'm gonna put them right on the front here. Where's my glue, where's my glue? Here it is. So I'm gonna put a big blob of glue right there. I'm gonna stick that one on there. And I'm gonna stick this one on here. So don't forget that Valentine's Day is February 14th. So February 14th and Mom and Dad would love to get a card. What about Grandma? You can get Grandma a card. Or your brother or sister. Or maybe you have a special aunt or uncle. You can give cards to everybody. Sometimes you can get them in a box and you can just hand them out to everyone. So let's do this. Let's give them a smile. Hmm, wait till you see. Oh, he might need an eyebrow, I think. Look at that. There's my happy heart. And it says, love Miss Barb on the inside. So all I used was a couple things that I found lying around my office or on my table, and I was able to make a Valentine's Day card. So I encourage you to use things that you can find around the house and you make a Valentine's Day card for someone special. So happy Valentine's Day to you guys. And I will see you again at my next pre-K discovery. Goodbye, everybody.